this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners. I'm doing a training coaching video for everybody. I um, have been investing since 1986. I was there, as, I, as you can figure out, for the crash of 87. And had to be very serious about it because of, you know, our family situation. And you know, sole supporter for six people, stay-at-home wife, which I'm grateful for, four kids in private schools at the same time. So, yeah, we had to... It was a pressure cooker. We had to find ways to make money. And I'm really grateful because one of the things that really helped me was reading Bill O'Neill's book, How to Make Money in Stocks. It's a wonderful book. I would recommend it to everybody. It will really help jumpstart your focus on what to look for. And the other thing I would do is this, is ask yourself, do you really want to do this? It's work. It's hard work. You have to be very diligent and focused. But the rewards can be substantial, substantial. And you know what's exa exciting? It's satisfying. It's, it's going on a treasure hunt. It literally is scanning for charts, scanning for stocks. It's going on a treasure hunt, looking for the next big winner. But before you do that, you better have some foundations on what to look for. And I'd like to share this with you. It's important to have foundations. I was an IBD Meetup co-leader for 12 years. Yeah, do I know the foundations? Yes, I had to know them. As I said, given my family circumstances, I had to. But I love the challenge of it. So what am I trying to do at Mission Winners? Speed up the learning curve, systematize processes for you with an edge, a statistical edge. Years ago, I periodically taught advanced statistics on a university level, and yet numbers matter and you have to make them work for you. So I'm going to show you some numbers. Some of it's research from O'Neill and Company. Some of it's my own research that I've done through the years. Uh, stocks that I've owned. I'm going to start right here. And I'll enlarge this for you so it's easier for you to see. This is from a book called 40 Great Stock Market Winners. It is a great research tool. Point one. 87% of these stocks that made huge moves had earnings of 30% or higher. 71% had earnings of 50% or higher prior to their move. Folks, I want you to think about that. That's, that's an edge. Basically, if you average these numbers, do you know what it comes out to be? It comes out to be knocking on 75, 80%, close to 80%. Eight out of 10 stocks, there's an edge. Not an opinion, there's your edge. Eight out of 10 stocks that made huge moves had earnings up, on average, do the math, earnings up 40% or higher. There's an edge that you can use. 86% had sales up 30% or higher. 63% had sales up 50% or higher. If you take these averages, what's it mean? 75% of these stocks had sales up on average 40% or higher prior to their moves, prior to them breaking out. So you have, we have two foundations, earnings up 40% or higher, or average sales for two quarters up 40% or higher. You focus on stocks and leading groups, which leads to the next point I want to bring up. This is old O'Neill research. IBD research shows 37% of it, another 12%. Bottom paragraph. Basically, almost 50% of a stock price's movement, a leading stock price's movement, is linked to its industry and its sector. There's another edge. Focus on leading groups and leading sectors. Focus on stocks with great earnings and or great sales. There's the edge that we use. I want you to consider, you're not running a mutual fund. You're not running a hedge fund. You got a limited amount of capital. What do you have to do? You got to be smart. You've got to be focused and disciplined. You can't look at a million freaking, oh, I'll try some of this and tell them this, you know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter because I've got to, no, unless you've, unless you're super rich, all right, You've got to manage your account. You have to focus on the best of the best. 
And that's why I do Mission Winners, is to show you this. These are facts, not opinions. This is my own research right here. Big stock winners, September 2007. We owned these. We owned all of these. It was very good. Some of these companies don't exist anymore, okay? They were merged with other companies, bought out, whatever. But look at the numbers. These were the earnings before they broke out. Not after, before they broke out. Look at the numbers. What do you see? Lowest number, Google, 43%. That's the lowest dang number. Go into September of 2007, August of 2007. Look at the charts on these stocks. Go ahead and take a look at the charts. I'll enlarge, I'll enlarge this for you. There you go. And you will see what I'm talking about. Now I have to temper it with the statement, some of these companies don't exist anymore, but there was a follow-through day in September of 07. Some of you listening probably remember it. I remember it. Oh boy, was that something else. It was great. Biggest winner ever for us, dry ships. Dry ships. Myself and my trading partner, we had it in both accounts and ran it hard. D-R-Y-S, 07. So what's my point here? Systematize things, narrow your focus. You're not running money, you're handling, you're managing your money. And you might as well focus on the best of the best. Why not? That is our edge. It's what we teach and it works. And it can be your edge too. That's what we're after. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you. I hope this helps you. The takeaway is this. Focus on stocks that have earnings and or sales up 40% or higher. Focus on stocks and leading groups. No, price, no low price stocks. Focus on stocks above the 50 day. Focus on stocks that are over 10 or $12 a share that trade more than two or 300,000 shares a day with an accumulation distribution of A or B. And right there, folks, is 30 years of doing this and making it happen. And it works. The last point I will bring up, always be humble and always limit losses. Never argue with the prices of your stocks. That's the final arbiter. Focus on strength, strength. And you'll be doing this for a long time. It works and it's a lot of fun and it's extremely satisfying. I love it. I love it. But again, remember, you got a limited amount of money. Focus on the best of the best. Why not? Well, I'll try this. I'll do this. I'll do this. Also, I'll share this with you. Don't own too many stocks. I mean, you get up 10, 12 stocks. That's plenty. That's plenty to stay focused on. And again, the big takeaway, it's your money. It's your money. You're not running a fund. Go with the best of the best. That's where the money is. That's where we make it. And I hope this helps you and I thank you. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.